Hi guys, uh, this is my channel Jack Pen Educational Academy. Here I named it as Jack Pen because say every child start his uh, career with Jack and then uh, from Jack to pencil, pencil to a pen. At last we all use pen like if if you if you if you'll be in government sector and you'll work with a green pen so in private uh, you can have a pen so at last your career will be from a uh, chalk to pen so that's why I named it as chalk pen educational academy <laughs> so here for engineers there is a, a field uh, which you may not know but you can aware that there is a field for your career that is NDT means a non destructive testing so as it needs lakhs of engineers for every year you should be work as a NDT engineer so for that for giving you a theoretical knowledge I started a I started NDT lecture series I named it as Chuck Pen so it's my channel name so please do subscribe and you can get uh, all lectures for the four methods basic four methods and you will be known everything so let's start here this is my first video I named it as careers in NDT here NDT means non destructive testing so you can know everything about uh, non destructive testing and as well as on what are the careers and in non destructive testing uh, let's go so learning objectives in this video so first you can know what is NDT is a first thing and next thing is educational requirements what are the educational requirements to be in <coughs> to be in NDT so what are the entry requirements a skill required what are the skill you require actually and, and also career in ND, career in NDT and career paths hmm? career progress and positions what are the position you will have in NDT and what a NDT technician will do uh, you can know all about these things in this video only so first thing is what is NDT the abbreviation of NDT is non destructive testing as it names gives that testing of object is done without damaging it means the testing is testing of object will done without damaging the job and there is a there are other uh, testing methods are there there you we can you can have damage so here there is no damage for your product in there are several types of method present in NDT huh? so these methods will be useful for locating internal surface subsurface defects so they, they their defects may, may be a small they leads to a large uh, damage of uh, jobs like in boilers they will spoil all boiler in every tube there are many tubes in boilers actually so if one tube uh, damage it will uh, it will create a major problem for a boiler for that power plant will st has to stop in railway line railway should have specific and strong railways so then I will discuss about uh, brief about in uh, subsequent uh, lectures but what are the areas of testing in NDT? First is aerospace, 
automobile defense industries power plants etc there are all oh, all industries require ndt today's it's a more oh, compulsory testing tool so what are the educational requirements you need actually first and first thing is high school student you as a high school student when if you completed 10th class uh, you can get got into this if if you are come if you completed your intermediate you can be here you can be into ndt field if you complete diploma or even engineering graduates for engineering graduates there is a high huge scope of career is there in the in this uh, in this entity so any stream but preferably mechanical and material science and chemical and civil will be more useful for you okay so entry requirements asnt ndt certificate as level 1 level 2 from a recognized training institute so any institute uh, which which is recognized uh, which will give asnt ndt certificate you can you can you can be trained here and you will get certified and you will be uh, directly apply for the jobs and you, you will be placed and as as a trainee technician you know, without getting a training institute without getting a without having a certificate you will be uh, get into a career as a trainee technician as an apprentice as an apprentice you can you can be in ndt after uh, spending uh, apprentice duration or trainee technician duration uh, you will be certified by your uh, level 3 inspector as a level 1 or level 2 ndt technician next six skills required here guys skills good speaking and writing skills and fast writing skills are preferred so technician should have good speaking and writing skills not only technician technician also technician or inspector so good observation attention so you will be working in fields and labs so So good observation and attention is required so ability to use wide range of tools which are used in qc and QC, qa you should have knowledge of uh, wide range of tools and data handling capacity you should possess these are the main skill requirements careers in ndt huge jobs opportunities for 10th and diploma and b and btech graduates in ndt so minimum hard work and maximum smart work will required speed career growth in this and it's challenging and interesting high salaries from 8k to 41 lakh 4 lakh sorry 4 lakhs per month so one of my friends is getting 1.5 lakhs per month it's not joke and one of my friend he has completed diploma and first salary he is getting as 45000 per month as a ndt technician so it's a it's a good field to earn money in overseas basic salaries from 45k to 75k for a qualified technician high requirements at a time of company shutdowns for every company there will be a shutdowns for every year so for their shutdown may be a 2 3 4 months or max 6 months so in the in this duration um, they are all uh, you perform ndt tests mainly ut rt mpt and dpt these are all test tests can be done in duration of the in the in during the shutdowns there is a huge requirement of recent development in ndt so all graduates the, you should be work in research and development of ndt so you will you will improve the sector as well as your career so career paths what are the career paths where you work actually in ndt laboratories there are laboratories uh, in india and all over the 
all over the world. Uh, there are laboratories. You can work there as an NDT technician or or uh, inspector. NDT field work. The field work most will have field work. NDT QA and purchasing purchasing of machines, machinery of which are related to NDT. The, you can work there. Techni technical skills sales and also management and NDT research and development these are all the parts and career progress or position this is important so NDT trainee technician first step will be NDT trainee technician or if you are certified from the institute as a level 1 or level 2 you can be a directly NDT technician after working as a NDT technician you will be a coordinator and coordinator after coordinator or coordinator or in charge and you will be inspector and you will be engineer and manager like that uh, as as your experience increases your position and progress will be grown and your salary will get huge for a manager uh, approximately in overseas you will have 3 lakhs per month salary in India you will have 1 lakh or 1.2 lakhs per month for NDT engineer, maximum salary in India is 75,000. In overseas, it's above 2 lakhs per month. What a NDT technician will do? First step is to give connections to machine. So for every method, there will be a specific machine. We have to give connections for that machine. And next step, Keep all necessary accessories required for the test. The accessories will be separate for every method. So we have to keep all necessary accessories for the test and have power supply and better lighting if the method demands. So there are methods, few method, uh, methods demands high light, high bright light and few methods required in dark dark room like in RT you required dark room or in a MPT MPT means magnetic magnetical particle testing RT means radi radiography testing in MPT you will require no light perform calibration of machine before the test if possible in the middle of the test also so calibration is most important thing in machining in machine to test and we have to check wow so now start testing the job by following steps according to the method so record the result while performing the test if required after completion of the test, write the report according to your method. It's simple. These all the functions has to be done by a technician. So thank you guys. Please subscribe. You will get all lectures from basic to end of the um, procedure for the basic methods RT, UT and MPT and DPT. Please subscribe. I will upload all videos soon. Thank you guys.